keeping up with the motto let learning be a joy and teaching a pleasure here we are with the remote learning and teaching process to bridge the gap standard 9 science and technology in part 1 we have covered the basics of distance and displacement in part 2 we shall cover some more distinct points about distance and displacement distance has only magnitude but no direction so it's a scalar quantity look at the example the 2 km morning walk does not provide the direction whereas displacement has both magnitude and direction so it is a vector quantity notice the map an example gateway of india is 3.2 km away from marine drive towards south east direction so besides total length it shows direction too magnitude of distance is always greater than or equal to that of displacement so look at the first condition always greater here in the map marine drives to gateway of india's actual path is 3.2 km shown in blue color whereas the shortest distance is 1.7 km only shown with red line now same point let's see second example nishi walks out of the house and spends some time reading the book under the tree here both her distance and displacement is one and the same that is 100 meter so that proves the second condition that means magnitude of distance and displacement can be equal to so with the previous example we can deduce one more distinct point that is magnitude of displacement is always less than or equal to that of distance now let's study a new example in the figure a cyclist starts riding the bike from point a takes a round around the green circular path and reach back to point a so what is his distance covered yes it's equal to the circumference of the circular path or 2 pi r but displacement yes it is zero because it has reached to same point a so so conclusion distance can never be zero but displacement can be zero the si unit for both distance and displacement is meter speed speed is rate at which somebody or something moves rate rate means time required for example the earth revolves around the sun with the speed of 30 km per second velocity velocity is basically the speed at which something moves in a particular direction 
or we can say velocity is displacement over a period of time in this example the speed of this bullet train is 300 km per hour but besides that speed the direction is also mentioned that is tokyo to osaka so remember velocity is speed with direction that's all for the day thank you